Hello everyone, Timer over here, and today we are going to start a new Let's Play series for Civilization VI. So we're still on Rise and Fall expansion. Uh, there is a new Civilization VI expansion called Gathering Storm, which is due to release next month. But I kind of wanted to get in here um, prior to uh, Gathering Storm's release just to play around with it because it's been a while since I, I played Civ, Civ VI. And so I know there's a lot of mechanics that will be changing in Gathering Storm. Well, a lot of mechanics. I know there are going to be mechanics that are changed and added and so on and so forth uh, in the next expansion. I'm looking forward to starting a fresh series when that comes out. But for right now, I kind of wanted to play a little Civ today. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm not sure how many episodes this will contain. We may end up being cut off uh, when the new expansion uh, releases. If that happens, that happens. Um, we'll see. But we're going to go ahead. I'm going to just do a single player game. We're going to go ahead and create a new game. Uh, I'm going to just use the uh, rule set for Rise and Fall. Uh, we're going to do a random leader here and we'll see how how that goes. Um, in terms of JD, the game, uh, game difficulty, we're going to go on Immortal. And standard speed, I think, is fine. Maps, I'm going to do a shuffle. Uh, just basically randomize the map type. I think that's going to be okay. And we're going to go ahead and do a map size of small, uh, which will dictate how many other civilizations we got going. I can't, I'm not sure what the, the <clears throat> amount is. I think, yeah, so one, two, so six, I guess, six total players. Um, but we're going to go back and just go with that. I believe that's how many are on the, the small map size. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just hit game start or start game. But yeah, I had a... Um... From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Heroic Frederick... King of the Germans. Your task is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. You are blessed to be a great military leader. Use those skills to bring these cities under your sway, so that they may develop into commercial and industrial powerhouses. Surely then the bards will sing of mighty Frederick with the red beard, the great Holy Roman Emperor. All right, so I've never actually played as uh, Germany. I've played against them. Uh, they always go after city-states. I know that and they're usually pretty militaristic um, <clears throat> But obviously they have a special ability Holy Roman Emperor uh, Military slot an additional military slot. We get plus seven combat strength when attacking city-states. So hey, there you go uh, Free Imperial cities each city can build one more district than usual exceeding the normal limit based on population so additional district down the line, that's pretty nice. Uh, we'll get a unique uh, boat, a naval unit, the U-boat, which is pretty good. And uh, the Hunza, which... Okay, so it's a um, uh, replacement for the industrial district by the looks of it. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just let's hit start game and see where we fall. All right. Not bad. Got a really good start, actually. Got a bunch of food. Uh, got some stone here. We could potentially make a run for uh, a religion and try to go after Stonehenge. We got stone and a adjacency of flat land, flat grassland. Uh, but uh, I've honestly, that might be a little hard to do. Um, I have had other Let's Play series for Civ VI, uh, but some of them ended up getting cut off here and there. Uh, I think our last series was with Mongolia. We were getting pretty far into it. Well, for my series, getting pretty far into it. Um, but unfortunately, I sort of lost that save, <laughs> um, especially recently, but I think in general. Um, so we're we're just starting this new one, and uh, playing as Germany. We got looks like we got some desert up north. Can't really tell yet what kind of map we are, but you know we could have could be islands. I mean, there's water over here. Is this ocean tile? 
Yeah, coast. Well, it says coast and lake. Oh, so they, they are late. So we could have that, the um, the lake map. Was it fractured? Fractured? I, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but it could be a number of those. But we'll, we'll go around and try to... Try to figure that out with a scout later on. In terms of starting position, I, I think we're pretty well here. I mean, we got a ton of food to deal with. We won't um, mess around with that, but this city should grow. We don't really have many, very many hills, so we might have a little slow production at first, although having the stone will help with the production in the long run. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. We will get to this wheat here just for, uh, whatever reasons. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just scoot up here and see where we're at. Um, but yeah, no, I think no, no problem with just founding the city right in place. Boom. Eureka. And we got the coastal city as well, which is pretty nice indeed. Um, just out of curiosity, no, it might have been... Oh, there's something to be said about hightailing it down here or something along those lines. Because this could be a one-tile area where we could have a canal city down the line. Which in the next expansion in uh, Gathering Storm, that's actually going to be a thing now is uh, building canals. Um, Alright, so we got the boost to sailing because we found a coastal city, which is fantastic. A couple things, we got to get started on some research. So if we look around, we got some stone... Um, the rice we can just, I believe, farm. Uh, got some animal husbandry that we're going to move to. Hmm. I mean, quarries are probably the better option because we do have the stone. We're going to want to try to get to that fairly quickly. Um, although I do like to sort of beeline to archery. However, if we could get to astrology, we could try to get a... Uh, found a great profit or get a great profit through Stonehenge. But again, very difficult to do on higher difficulties. Not impossible. Um, I, I almost want to say we did get... I can't remember now. I, I thought for some reason my Mongolia gave, I did get Stonehenge. But that was a that was a one level down Emperor maybe uh, difficulty. So I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but no, I think we can go ahead and get bronze working. Or not bronze working, mining. I was looking at bronze working. But yeah, go with mining because we have that stone right there. I think that's going to be fine. Um, we might switch out of it if we end up finding a, um, a natural wonder. And maybe actually take that as a cue. We should try to go after uh, Stonehenge. But anyway, we got that. Uh, Code of Laws is going to end in 15 turns. We don't do anything there. In terms of what are we going to build first? Well couple different things uh usually on harder difficulties that i've found is depending on how close you are to the ai um in my in my couple test games that i ran before deciding to do this series uh i lucked out in that the city states were nearby and they took the brunt of the ai's um beat down because on higher difficulties the ai starts with different things more techs more units more settlers and all that stuff uh, so they're very quick uh, to target you and come after you in higher difficulties. But if you have close by neighbors of city states, then they're you know less likely to do that. So you know we may not have to rush towards a warrior or a slinger. We maybe can go a scout into a slinger or something along those lines. And of course we could always get the builder as well. Um, our production is kind of crap, uh, but we are going to grow fairly quickly. Uh, here just out of curiosity. Oh, right. Yeah, we're not starting by fresh water either Which is going to be a huge bummer um, Can I see No, I can't see that anymore I don't think we had it doesn't look like we had any fresh water because there's no rivers and the coastal tiles are just um, you know half you know, coastal water is just plus one housing instead of the plus three from you, that you get from fresh water. So, yeah, it doesn't look like we could have moved into that realm. We'll have to, I don't know, I guess wait until neighborhoods and so on and so forth to, to increase our housing cap, which is a shame. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead. We'll start with a scout 
and start to queue up a slinger. I am using the uh, CQUI mod. Uh, if you'll want, if you're wondering why my interface is a little different, that's the only mod I'm running. Um, but it just changes the interface a little bit and gives you access to information that you had before, um, as well as additional sort of like filters and lenses that you didn't have before um, in the general vanilla setup and so on and so forth. So that's what we're doing. Policy change that I believe is a reminder for through CQI as well. Next turn. All right, so we're going to keep shuffling around here. Uh, well, that's a lake, so that would be fresh water and not a bad location, too, for a city somewhere around here. We'll keep going around this way. Next turn. Um, you know what? Let's scoot around here. John Curtin. Hello, John. Australia. We seek sympathetic allies. We seek. Let's go ahead and skip you. Yes, it's an honor to meet you, buddy. We would love to sample your hospitality. And you're right next door. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to change things up a bit. We are going to go ahead and start on that slinger right away. Um, because I have a feeling we are going to be targeted early on. So let's go with that. All right. And most likely he's going to forward. He's going to come up here and settle up this way out. So we're going to have to probably looking at a very early war to to take out of Kanbara. Um yeah, having having very little in terms of production is not going to be super great. To do um does look like we're on an island. Of course. Well, we may not be on an island, but we do definitely have barbarians down here. So if it is an island, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get attacked here. <laughs> the the scout's gonna run back to the camp and start spawning additional units. So we're gonna have to hightail it back with the warrior in order to protect our city. <sighs> I don't think we're on an island. Um, I guess we'll go down here. Yeah, see, it's not an island. It does break away here. When you find yourself in a hole, uh, mining is done. I am actually going to beeline to archery. So let's get an husbandry up, and so on and so forth. Uh, go ahead, jump on this hill. Yeah, there's the warrior. So the encampment for the barbarians is probably right around here. I may just leave my warrior up on this hill to get the defensive boost, and they have to come through here. <clears throat> I might sidestep eventually to kill. Uh, you're running not in the direction I thought you were going. Let's drop down. Yeah, look at, there's another barbarian warrior. Oof. Woo, there we go. All right, let's, let's pop up here. We'll try to take them out one at a time. And try to do that. Um, hello, Indonesia, Queen and Protector. Those who fought us, weak litter. Those who thought us weak litter, the ocean floor. Okay then, Indonesia. Sure, let's be friends. Uh, and you came from over here, so there must be a connection down by John by Australia. Very interesting. All right, yeah, you're just going to fortify in place. Our slinger is almost done. We are going to want to try to get a kill with that slinger in order to get the boost to archery, which is going to be useful. Yeah, go ahead and just fortify up. That's going to be fine. Separated from law and justice. Civic is done. Um, foreign trade. Let's take a look here. What do we want to head into? Early empire. We got some. Traditions. Kind of want craftsmen for the boost towards in the cavalry and range units. Typically, I, I you know, there is something to be said about going for early empire. Um, we might soft, you know, soft construct this until, <coughs> excuse me, until the we get the boost to it because we will. I just don't know when. 
We'll see what we can do. Uh, Indonesian scout. Oh, right. We do get that extra military slot, which is pretty nice. We'll take that. Uh, urban planning or god? Well, let's get god king so that we so we can get the pantheon started or get to the pantheon as soon as possible. Delegation is most welcome, Australia. Sure. All right. Well, we didn't get the kill with the slinger, but <clears throat> that's fine. Do we want to get the scout or work towards a builder? It would be helpful to try to get this set up. In fact, we're not actually working it. I'm going to lock that tile so we get some more um, production. I probably should have done that sooner. But now we're working off of a little better uh, production format here. Uh, do we get the builder? Scout would be useful. But no, I think we're going to have to go into another slinger. Fortify up. Next, this slinger is most likely going to come over here and yeah, just start pounding away at my warrior, unfortunately. Uh, you are going to... I don't think you're going to be able to move and shoot. What I might do is just pop down here. We lose the high ground, um, but I want to get the I want to get my slinger the kill. Well, yeah, we already did it, but I guess I could have swapped them out. I don't think it's a huge issue. All right, you are going to run up and whack him. And I'm not sure... Well, there's a chance you could kill him. Let's see if we get the lucky. All right, excellent. Archery has been advanced. Fantastic. And so now I can get my warrior back on the hill and be happy about that. We actually got a nice little natural bottleneck here, so things are Dogs in decent them. shape. Cats Apparently another barbarian Dogs. scout has awoken. Yikes. Um... I mean, they will get the the bonus, so you know what? Let let us go up here. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, fortify up next turn, and then we're just going to keep fortifying and let this warrior soak the damage. <clears throat> and hopefully, they stop re they stop spawning these guys, and you know we get something. Uh, got a promotion. Going to take battle cry. Make you a more effective fighter there. Yeah, these guys are just going to start. Well, this guy, not so much. We are going to have to run at him here. We could retreat. You know what? Let's do that. We'll do the with the slingers because they, they don't actually face plan on us. So we're going to have to... You know, take care of that the old-fashioned way. Um, really? You backed off? Okay. Uh, you avoid the smaller shores. Such deference is noted and well-regarded. Okay. Alright, I do want to end there. So let's go ahead and hit this guy. And then see if we can... Ah, sugar. We didn't actually beat him. <laughs> oh well. Uh, okay. All right, go ahead and whack him. You, you know what? I'm fine with letting you fortify because they can't come up onto this hill. They're gonna get the bonus, which kind of does suck, but it will allow me to get more experience, I guess, on my units here. All right, you are going to plop over here. You're going to fire. Fire. And then crush. And then you're back on top there. Excellent. 
Uh, most welcome. Meanwhile, John Curtin looks like he's already settled another city. Or just bought up this area here. Really? What? One, two, three. How did he get this? I'm confused. Oh no, he got it. One, two, three. Yeah, that's the farthest he could go out there. Alright, that's fine. I might actually get a settler. What are we at money-wise? Okay, I think I'm going to buy a builder next turn. And get this hooked up and try to uh, expedite that. Uh, in terms of technology, we've got the three barbarians. So let's go for bronze working. You are going to fortify up. Fortify. And we do have the ability to upgrade these guys as well to archers. And maybe that's what we want to do. You know what? Let's do the builder thing here. Yeah, the scout into settler and all that. And then I'm actually going to upgrade our archers. Boom. And boom. Huge boost in overall power. <sighs> uh, go down here. Can you fire on this guy? Yes, you can. Boom. Get the kill and the experience. And then fortify up. And fortify. I do, you know, there's something to be said about not taking the scout right now, and maybe we shouldn't. You can actually come over here and then put the beat down on that slinger now. Excellent. But I do want it to go up here and start scouting. And then we'll get working on the builder and so on and so forth. You can go ahead and do that. You actually, well, we could start perf um, moving forward. Try to clear out the things and then you're going to go ahead and just promote uh, we will take the land units that's fine yeah we're getting delayed here with all this shenanigans of the barbarian settler yeah we're already starting to get issues over here as well as another barbarian encampment Urgh! so annoying um and that's going to be really annoying right there i was going to take this as my second city but now we got loyalty issues over there. So, yeah. Uh, how did... Why are you over there? Stop. What? Alright. We'll just have to take out uh, Australia. Okay, and then, yeah, you're going to run up there and get started on the builders. Oh my gosh! Another barbarian encampment. Uh, I might send this guy up there to take it out. Urgh, this is slowing us down. Alright, you head back to the city and start working your way up there. You're going to fortify up. You are going to... Bow... Tell you what, just go ahead and take him out, and then you can fire on those guys. Alright, we'll run up there. So, we are sort of on an island-ish. If anything, it is sort of an archipelago-ish kind of thing. Ooh. Just kill that guy. You are going to fortify there. You're going to work your way up here. And I guess I'm going to just send you sort of scouting down there. And I think that's going to be fine. And yeah, we got to put a cut in the video. Um, keep going out forward here. You're going to just rest a little bit more. Pop up here. Bolt. Good stuff. Without Ugh. Inspiration. Is a mere reed Indeed. Uh, we probably should retreat. Run away. Run away, little scout. Run away. Um, where are we going to go? I need to sort of head back to the, to the base now. Oh, dear me, dear me. Yeah, we really need to get that builder up. In order to buy, or not buy it, but get this stone set up so we have some sort of 
semblance of um, production. Just out of curiosity, what are we reaching towards? This. Why? I guess to get to the wheat? I suppose. All right, yeah, take that guy out and then we'll try to make do with it down the line here. <clears throat> Foreign trade, next turn. All right, so those guys were probably in the base. Is this two movement? No. But I'm not going to be able to hit over that. So I think I am going to retreat. And then just uh, fortify. And then you're going to pop in there. Get the year score for clearing the camp. And then move on back. And we know we're completely isolated up there. We're going to have to sort of push this way. I'm not sure yet what's down here. But I'm guessing there's probably more connections there. Uh, and I guess this guy's just going to go ahead and I'll put you in the city. To fortify up so you can heal until our troops can come back to the front and do all that ah <sighs> all right uh yes that's fine next turn definitely have to put in a cut though hello all you people uh, all right you're gonna move out and you are going to move into the city to protect it you are going to i guess start removing down there uh you are you're going to run that way. Unfortunately, let's go ahead and bop you right there. And then fortify up. And that's going to be fine. Ow. Alright, go ahead. Shoot. Shoot. And... Let's get the scout coming down here just to see where things are. Next. <sighs> okay, that's what I thought would happen. We're going to just fortify you there. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take him out. And pop out of the city and bombard. Not bombard, but fire. And one more turn. Oh, these these stupid barbarians. Ow. And you didn't really hurt all that much. I'm actually going to get you to come over here and fire. Take the kill. And then I'm going to promote you to more land strength. Excellent. And then let's just bop. And we'll clear this out and then call it a day. Get this sailing since we got the boost. Choose Pantheon. Um, we got a lot of sea resources around. I don't think there's anything for rice. Uh, we've got a couple pastures that we can make. Uh, there's some sheep up north. Again, this is going to be a, a kind of a s very small build here. Um, I think we got to go with God of the Sea, though. Found this pantheon. We're going to have a number of resources on these islands, so we're going to go with that. Next turn. And then just clear out that camp. Please and thank you. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We've got two turns until the builder. Can I... I can't buy a settler. I could buy a builder, but it's not going to happen. All right, let's start working our way over to this camp, as well as I just want to get over there with my archers. I might, once we get the, um, once we get foreign trade done, oh, we could move, switch to military tactics since we do, you know what, let's do that, uh, since we do have the boost for it. I don't know if we're going to discover another continent at the moment. Uh, you know what? You can come over here and start scouting this route. I'm going to get my warrior to start heading back to town. Because uh, I think what we'll do... 
is just try to inch up towards this barbarian encampment and try to take it out. Right, builders coming in, you're done. Let's keep going over here. You got some random person there. Run over there, quarry it up. Should help with production. Not by much, but it's something. All right, and then we'll probably just send you to set up the um, the rice and so on and so forth. Pretty far away from getting this fish, actually. I don't know. Pastures might have been better to take for the Pantheon. <laughs> All right, you're going to go there. You're going to fire. And then you're going to pop there. Use up all your movement. Goodbye. Uh, fortify up because that guy is probably going to attack. There you go. And it looks like this is a island in of itself. So this is pretty safe. We, we will probably be able to get a settler down here fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, not not super great locations in terms of you know large houses. Uh, Indonesia, uh, no, never mind. Oh, I hate how that happens sometimes. <sighs> it's probably. Did you seriously like? You stepped out, so they're gonna clear that. Oh, that's annoying. So annoying. Uh, which ones are we working here? Hello? There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess it doesn't really super matter. Let's go ahead and get a farm set up there. Eureka towards that. Excellent. And then, never mind. Stop trying to declare war on people. Uh, I'm actually going to pull you back and we'll just try to get the experience on this since we're not going to get to clear the camp because the AI somehow moved the barbarian out of there. Oh, is Australia at war? Really? You are with you're at war with Australia. Alrighty. Well, that is actually kind of helpful. Um I'd really like to set You know, what, let's just keep improving the farms and so on and so forth. I'm actually tempted to go after Can Canbar or <laughs> Canberra. We got 11 turns until this military tradition comes into fruition. Hmm. But I think we've gone on long enough, so we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. Um, so as with any new uh, series premiere here, uh, I will be, you know, hitting that like button if you're enjoying the series or want to see more of the videos is especially important. So please, if you want to see more Civ 6, especially this series, or even, you know, in the future for the uh, expansion, please hit that like button uh, so I get that message <laughs> and, or leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. But hopefully you're going to like this series and, and uh, liked it so far. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content, as always, I strongly encourage you to, um, to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.